Okay, it's time to meet our petrol head. And I'll be quite frank with you, we had some problems when they posed this guy to me because I thought he shouldn't be a petrol head of the week because after everything he's done for motorsport in this country, he should be petrol head of the decade or at the very least year. Here's a man so committed to racing and motorsport that rumor has it that when he built his house recently, he added chicanes in the hallway. Meet JP Tuasong. Tuasson Racing School was, uh, was born out of our passion for being involved in uh, motor racing. We loved what we did. Uh, I wanted to be involved in motor racing all my life. It was uh, not possible to be a professional driver in the country. So the next best thing was to teach others uh, how to get involved in it. When we first started, it was more of a, a hobby. It wasn't big enough for us to really sustain ourselves. So when we first started this, it was more of really our passion to uh, get others involved in the sport, that, which we loved. And that has evolved through the years to uh, not only cover go-karts, which is where we started, but we now train people in um, touring cars. Uh, we've dabbled a little bit in uh, drifting. Uh, we do formula racing. Uh, and we also now do two wheels. So we run the California Superbike School for people that uh, want to get involved in uh, big bike riding. And on the flip side of that, uh, we've started uh, road safety programs for both cars, heavy equipment, and uh, underbone motorcycles as well. I got involved in motorsports when I was 13 years old. My dad was a uh, former rally champion. And I guess it was only very natural for us to be involved in uh, local racing because of my dad's background. So we started uh, go-karting together when I was, uh, when I was young. And we, prog we progressed together uh, as a family with my younger brother in motorsports. We did uh, touring cars, uh, formula racing, and uh, I basically uh, finished up doing motorsports in Formula 3. Now what we do is uh, we run the Tuasson Racing School to uh, promote motorsports to uh, young enthusiasts. I think uh, one of the best experiences I had was uh, racing with my dad. And uh, at the time it wasn't such a big deal, but uh, my dad passed away fairly early in my life. So now that I look back at it, I think it's one of my uh, most cherished uh, opportunities to have been able to race on the same track against my father and um, I, uh, I learned a lot of what I know today because of uh, racing with him. My dad in the 70s had a, uh, a rally school and uh, he uh, used to teach uh, people that wanted to get involved in rally how to get started. And uh, after my dad passed away, I wanted to uh, continue on the tradition, uh, imparting motorsports to enthusiasts that had no idea how to get started. So we uh, began with the Tuasson Racing School. Uh, in 1999, we did our first class, and uh, this class was for uh, go-karting. We had 150 students. And uh, from that point forward, everything just grew year on, and, uh, we now train about 5,000 people every year. In our quest to become uh, the best at what we do, we did a lot of training uh, both locally and abroad. Uh, one of the biggest influences that we had for setting up the school was a uh, organization called Skip Barber Racing. So we attended several of their classes there. And what we learned at Skip Barber was really the basis for uh, opening and running the Tuasson Racing School. I've always been a fan of BMW. I've had several BMW uh, vehicles over the years. And uh, one of the really important things for our school was to work with a very strong uh, corporate partner for uh, both road safety and uh, high performance driving. So we had been uh, talking to BMW uh, both in the Philippines and in uh, the region and Singapore for uh, a couple of years. And finally, the opportunity came to, uh, to go out to uh, Germany and get trained. So I spent about two months in Germany and Austria in 2012. Uh, and I was uh, lucky enough to be able to pass as a uh, certified BMW 
instructor for the world for both uh, uh, road cars and high performance driving. Well, I think as a racing school, it's our corporate social responsibility to be able to impart to people the skills that are needed to become very good at motorsports and to teach the others that don't get out to the racetrack that uh, racing should not be done on the streets. Teach Filipino drivers how to become safer drivers on the road. I'm really very, very happy at how the, the school has uh, evolved over the years. And um, I hope that in the future we can eventually develop our own uh, Formula One driver. So let's all see how it pans out. And there you have JP Tuasa on one of many things in racing, including the race organizer for the Toyota Vios Cup.